Hello, welcome back to Show and Roofing. I'm Chris, and today we've got a fiery topic for you, literally. We're diving into the nitty gritty details of torching cap sheet flashings on a flat roof. We're going to break it down into simple, manageable steps, and watch to the end where I will torch a flashing in real time so you can see how smooth and efficient the process can be. So grab your safety glasses, don that fire resistant gear, let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna line it up on the line, line it up with our salvage edge, one knee in the middle, so same as standard. We're gonna pull this back. All we're trying to get here is the angle change and about three inches of this bottom. We're not trying to get to the, to the, uh, the lap here. We're just trying to get the angle change with our first pass. Bring the camera right up so you can see what's going on in here. So I'm waiting until I see that material start to melt. After that, I'm going to put both hands in the middle, press the angle change in, and work out. I'm going to do that at least two times, making sure that angle change is tight. After that, this is the side we want some bleed out. It's easiest to push it out with your finger. So that is how the corner should look when we're done. This flashing is now sealed about halfway through. We lift this up. You see this isn't torched yet. That's exactly what we want. Okay, because it's cold, uh, we're gonna do this next piece in, uh, in two parts. We're gonna do the angle first, and then we're gonna finish it off. If it was summer, we could do this all in one, but we're doing winter install right now. So first thing is getting the trowel super hot again, and clean, if you can see the bitumen on the bottom of that, we gotta get that perfectly clean, or else we're gonna leave marks like on this flashing. Now we're just going to do the angle change. Notice I'm angling my, my uh, torch back into the material. I like to push in with this hand and then on top to make sure that it is super tight. You don't want any sort of pop here. And because I angled my torch, we can still peel this back without it being stuck. Heat up trowel. Get a nice bleed out. And then what I like to do is, is feather that bleed out in, just so it doesn't affect the metal when the metal capping goes on. You can see how this one is not pressed in. There's gonna be a little lip there that the metal is gonna to have to kind of press against. So we wanna try and smooth that one out on the top. Okay, on to the bottom and the most important. So this, this should be looking like this. <laughs> you can get in close on that. So we, we shouldn't have burned the poly off here. That's exactly how that should look. So we're gonna get our trowel nice and hot. We're gonna hold the flashing with just the top of the trowel. We can't use the tip, we gotta keep it flat and just at the edge, or else it'll cut through. And then we're slowly gonna bring our torch back and forth about four or five times. Just so gonna hold the middle. Wipe the trowel, so you have that little bit of goo on it. Should be two passes, one to get the air out, one for your bleed out, and very gently, you should make sure there's no air bubbles. I'm barely pressing down on this. And I did a good job because no air came out. We're gonna butter up this edge. And that's it. All right, this was how to torch a capture flashing in the winter. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>